Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to episode number two of MCool123 Question Submission Google Form Answers or something like that. We need a better intro for that. <coughs> Hint, we're working on an intro. <laughs> okay, so as you know, a couple of days ago, or I don't know when it was, we talked about dreams and how they form. So now we're just going to go down the list and the second question is, why is my son always addicted to his phone? So today we are talking about phone addictions. And addictions to phones. And then we may even talk about addictions to just things in general. If we have that. Um, and then the third question is a deep question. But uh, we're going to tackle that in the next episode. Um, but to answer this person's question on why they're addicted to their phones. This was in the category of electronics, alright? Alright, I mean, I guess so. It also could have been, like, science. A lot of these questions, the three questions, could have been, like, a science question. Because it's, like, how the brain works, or, you know, things like that. But to answer your question, why people are addicted so much, and rely so much on their phones, that some people can't put it down for five seconds. They can't go ten minutes at the most without saying oh wait 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 did i get a like on instagram oh wait wait oh wait uh, johnny smith uh sent me his snapchat wait i need to respond oh no and so that's ongoing um and for many people social interactions stimulate the release of the mind dopamine um, because so many people are constantly on their phones, like I said, for Instagram, for Snapchat, for texting, for FaceTime, for Facebook, for anything. They become so accustomed to constantly checking it. By that hint of just joy, of just constantly checking it. And that's, it's the dopamine that's released when they connect with others on social media or on their apps. It's their way of communicating together. And let's face it, we're all guilty of being on our phones, right? You know that. Oh, I, I'm guilty of it, too. I'll check from time to time. I'll say, like, oh, I must check Twitter. Oh, wait, I just got a tweet. Someone tweeted. Let me check it out. Let me see. But I can't go, like, five minutes without checking it. And that's a psychological... Um, in, that's something psychological that happens. Um, And it says that... <clears throat> the percent of smartphone users who would actually be classified as addicted is estimated between 10 to 12 percent which is kind of a lot um and that's according to the director of the center for internet and technology addiction dr david greenfield but then a recent study the study <clears throat> excuse me also finds that 50 percent of teens feel like they are addicted to the devices. So that, I don't know how old your son is, um, but if your son is of age, of a teen, then that's probably why we were talking about it, with the um, dopamine that's released when they connect with all of their friends and peers. How can I cure my phone addiction? There are seven things that you can do. Ready? One. Keep yourself on a schedule. Two, turn off as many push notifications as you can. Most people have it where if you, when you hear an alert, like most alerts are the same thing, like a Snapchat alert, you get the same notification sound. So when you hear, say, the Snapchat notification, you're like, oh shoot, someone sent a snap. I need to check it right now. And then you open up your phone and you check it. So you want to turn that off, so then you can freeingly have time to step away from your phone. You can also take distracting apps off of your home screen. Any apps that may cause distractions, you want to take that off your home screen. Um, so, number four is kick your cell phone device out of bed. Most people bring their phones into their bed and they fall asleep with it. Because they're watching uh, PewDiePie. They're watching PewDiePie, so they're like, oh, well, I'm watching PewDiePie, so I'll just lay in my bed and it's... It's fine, I'll go to sleep after I'm done watching the video. But we would highly recommend 
against that. Because then you're tempted to get on your phone. You're like, well, alright, fine, I'll just watch this one video. And then the video's over, so you put it down. And you're like, well, wait, I gotta check this. Or, wait, I, I must do this before tomorrow. Or whatever it may be. And then you're constantly on it. Right? So we don't want that. Um, if you're a smart speaker, put it. if you have a smart speaker, put it to use. Um, try turning on your phone's grayscale. And the final one, stay accountable. Stay accountable for your actions. Stay accountable for what you're doing on there. Please be safe on the internet. That's all I ask. Um, and also, according to research from Rescue Time, one of the several apps for Android and Android, a iOS, sorry, excuse me, iOS and Android is created for monitoring phone use. People generally spend an average of 3 hours and 15 minutes on their phones each day. With the top 20% of smartphone users. Alright, so I apologize, the audio cut out. But what I was saying was that, according to research from Rescue Time, one of the several apps for iOS and Android created to monitor phone use, that people generally spend an average of 3 hours and 15 minutes on their cell phones every single day with the top 20 percent of smartphone users spending upwards of four and a half hours so if you take say four and a half and you divide uh, not excuse me and you time that by seven days let's do the math you right so you have 4.5 four and a half times seven days in a week you're on it up 31 and a half hours a week but that's just on average some people can spend like six hours a day on your phone, cell phone device um so we there's got to be a way to fix that right so also so like i said 4.5 times 7 days is 31.5 hours 31.5 divided by 24 hours in a day you're basically on it if that's equivalent to if you just sat on your phone and did nothing for a full day and a half. Like, that's insane. That's how long people are addicted to their phones. And why they're addicted to their phones? Because they want that social interaction supplement. And that, that's just, whenever they get a notification, they feel the urge, the need to answer whatever they, whatever the message was um that's what happens with drug addictions it makes them feel good or with smoking it makes them feel good and, and so that's why people do it i don't recommend you smoke smoking is bad people do it because people do it but that's what people do it because they're addicted to it it's an addiction it releases a feel of joy for some people and it makes them feel good and it makes them feel happy when they smoke so that's why people have addictions. So to answer your question, why is my son always addicted to his phone? It's probably because he feels the urge that he must respond to whatever is being told of him on social media. So, like I said, the seven things that you could do to change that are right here. If you do those seven things, I bet that'll kind of cut back. On the phone addiction and i'm not saying don't be on the phone people are on the phone some people are on it for the right reasons some people are on it for the wrong reason like some people are just on it to watch youtube videos but some people are on it to like read so whatever it is make sure that you are smart when you're on your computer I mean, excuse me when you're on yourself and actually what i can show you is a rundown of how long I've been I've been on my phone I've been on my phone a lot and let me show you possibly what your son is like so here's my screen time today November 11th as I'm recording this I don't know when you're watching this but today I've been on my phone for 4 hours and 23 minutes. Now, it is 4.30 when I'm recording this, 
so it's not terrible like if i was recording this at like 12 and i had four hours that'd be yeah a problem but it's been almost a full day um and i don't usually go on it at night because i usually do work on my computer um but so that's what i'm saying like this research was telling us the top 20 percent of smartphone users spending upwards of four and a half so that's kind of what I'm doing. What I'm using the four and a half hours for? Usually for entertainment purposes. Whether it be watching, say, like, five Office episodes. Five Office episodes just right there. They're each 20 minutes. That's about an hour and a half right there. So if I watch, like, ten, which I mean I may some days, that's fine. Plus, yes, I do check Twitter, Instagram, all the social media platforms. So this is why people get addicted, because we need that social interactions, especially during this pandemic when we're in lockdown and social distancing, and we can't really be with our friends. So hopefully that answered your question on why your son is always addicted to his phone. So thank you so so much for watching i appreciate your support please hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already and hit that like button as well my goal like i say in uh, almost every video let's get to 100 subscribers by the end of 2020 i know we can do it we just need uh about 20 more i believe in about a month and a half and i know we can do it because the mickinators are the biggest army ever so please subscribe and um yes thank you so much for watching like comment and subscribe and i will see you for the next episode where we break down the very deep deep question of what is love see you in the next video everybody peace